Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. How do you like that for some intro music, huh? <laughs> it is New Comic Book Wednesday, August 7th. I will be reviewing books that are coming out next Wednesday, the 14th. So this will give you a nice overview of what's coming out, what I'm kind of looking at picking up. Um, yeah, just things that of are of interest and things that I think will be moving as far as comic books that are hot, covers that are cool, um, things that you may want to be aware of. So let's jump on into it here. So coming out next week for Dark Horse, you've got Black Hammer, Justice League, Hammer of Justice, number two. Um, four or five different covers here. I can't remember which cover I chose, but it was either the, this is the Scalero cover, and there's a Tedesco cover. Midtown has it kind of screwed up. They're saying this is the Tedesco and this is the Scalera, which uh, obviously they got that um, reversed. So I, I don't remember which one I ordered, but I'll be getting one of those. I think it might have been the Scalera. I'm not too sure. Uh, I think that was it for Dark Horse. Uh, Sword Daughter number eight. I do like that Ben Oliver cover. Very nice. I've not been collecting that though, but I do think that is a nice cover. Uh, for DC... Uh, Catwoman art germ cover is pretty nice. I'm sure that will be a popular uh, comic book cover. Uh, Event Leviathan number three. I've been pre-ordering basically all the A covers. Um, there is a nice B cover by Anacleto, but I've just been going with the A covers on that one. Uh, Hawkman, I did pre-order that one. Nice in-hook Lee Hawkman cover. Anytime you can get an in hook Lee cover for cover price, I think it's definitely worth picking up. And also, if you're a Derek, Ch uh, yeah, Derek Chu fan, you may want to pick up Supergirl number thirty-three. It's a nice looking cover. Um, not really my style, and I'm not really into Supergirl, but uh, that well, I would imagine that might be a popular cover. And you've got a Superman. Adam Hughes cover with the dog. <laughs> I've not, I've kind of stopped collecting Superman, so that's not, not anything I would pick up, but uh, it is a Hughes, an Adam Hughes cover. Uh, Wonder Woman 76, you got a nice Frizzin cover. You've got a, the hand of, is that Cheetah's hand going to give her a little back scratch? <laughs> Wonder Woman's like, hey, I got a little itch there. Can you get that for me? I think Cheetah can help her out with that. Uh, that's it for DC. Uh, Dynamite Entertainment, not anything there that I'm really interested in getting. Uh, there is a nice Xena Warrior Princess number five cover. I do like that cover, but I'm not into that character. I wouldn't really collect that book, but I do like the, the art. I definitely appreciate the artwork there. Uh, now under IDW, Road of Bones number four, definitely a pickup for me. Uh, Alex Cormack is awesome on the art, and um, it's been a popular series. They've third printed issue number one, by the way, which is already sold out um, at most online stores. So it's definitely well supported. I think there's plenty of people that are into the series, so uh, it's definitely one I'm con I'm going to continue with. Um, I think that might be it with IDW Image. Gideon Falls, number 16, that's definitely, I've been pre-ordering all the A covers. Uh, B cover's not bad either, but uh, I've been just kind of sticking with the A covers on that. And I think they're, Reaver, number two. I do, I did finally get issue number one of Reaver, uh, which was a popular, that book was doing pretty well in the aftermarket. Uh, Marcus, my good friend Marcus, was kind enough to send me one. Uh, I'll pick up the second issue as well, just to continue with it. I thought the story was pretty decent. I'm intrigued. Want to see where it goes, so I will pick up number two. Uh, only one cover, by the way. Sonata, number three. I don't know whether I'm going to pick up the third issue or not. I, if I was going to pick a cover, it would be the A cover for sure. Um, I'm going to read the first two issues and see if I want to continue with it. I just haven't had time to read them. I'm pretty close to getting to, to reading those, so hopefully this week I'll get that done. 
Uh, Unnatural number 12, the B cover, probably the better cover of the two. That is the last issue of the run of the series. So uh, sometimes last issues do well. They tend to be key books at times. So uh, if you've been collecting that, you may want to make sure that you're aware that number 12 is the last issue and pick that up. And White Trees, this is one that I am picking up. I didn't pre-order this. I should have. I don't know why I didn't didn't notice it, but uh, Chip Sadarsky and Chris Anka, I definitely like that combination. Sadarsky's doing a really good job writing lately. Uh, he's mainly been doing Marvel. Uh, he's been doing Spider-Man Life Story, which I thought has been very good. Um, it's definitely been selling well. Um, so Sadarsky's, he's been around the block for a while. He's uh, he did Sex Criminals. Um, he's been on a lot of Marvel books of late. And I'm interested in this White Trees. Uh, I want to see what that's kind of about. It's it's kind of like a, maybe a little bit like a saga meets Lord of the Rings. I don't know, something like that. But eh, we'll see if it's any good. I'll, I'll at least pick up the first issue. Uh, moving on to Marvel, Absolute Carnage Scream number one. Several different covers. Definitely my favorite is the Ryan Brown variant. Um, I just not a f I'm not in favor of the price, <laughs> forty two dollars. So this is a one in fifty ratio variant. Obviously, uh, that's the trade dress, and then there is a one in one hundred virgin. Man, that virgin is nice. That cover there, I love that. Um, so yeah, if I had to pick a cover, it'd definitely be this one. But uh, eighty five dollars. I'll pay $8.50, <laughs> but not 85 bucks. It just seems too much. To, unless, you know, that could be worth buying. I mean, you don't know. Maybe there's some new character introduced. Something major happens in that book. You never, you just don't know. Cullen Bunn's the writer. He's a good writer. You got Sandoval doing the interior artwork. Um, but 85 bucks. I mean, you go on eBay right now, people are asking 100 to 120 So uh, it is a good price in respect to that, but... I don't know. I just, I I just can't spend that much money on that book. Uh, Absolute Carnage, Separation Anxiety. I definitely like the design cover. It's pretty cool. Now there we go. Eight dollars and fifty cents. <laughs> That's more like it. Why can't that other one be worth eight dollars and fifty cents? Eh, well, keep dreaming, right? There are a couple incentive covers. They're not showing uh, the Clayton Crane covers. Uh, I did look at them on on. Google Images, and yeah, they're, they're nice covers, but not definitely not Crane's best work, so not anything that uh, you have to own. Uh, moving down the list, yeah, some second printings on a bunch of books, Black Cat, Avengers. Uh, Captain Marvel number nine, this will be the second appearance of Star, the new character. Number eight was her first full appearance, and that book has done well in the aftermarket, so... Um, I don't think this book's going to blow up and be worth a lot of money or anything uh, unless they introduce a new character, you know, another new character. But uh, being a second appearance, that you know, it's definitely worth grabbing, um, in my opinion. So you may want to look for that. Uh, Conan the Barbarian Exodus number one, Esad Ribbit cover. I definitely pre-ordered that in advance. I like Conan, um, and I love Ribbit doing... The artwork. I wish he was doing the interior artwork, which I don't think he is in this in this series. But um, at least I don't think he is. But yeah, the Bradshaw cover is kind of cool too. That's like an old throwback cover. It kind of has a little vintage look to it. I don't know. And moving on down the list, Fantastic Four number thirteen. I like the B cover. This is the Perel. I'm a fan of Perel's work. Uh, I like this cover, the villain's cover with Dr. Doom there. Pretty cool. Very nice, very nice. The C cover sold out already, Nick Bradshaw. Kind of has that, what the, I guess it's the 80th frame cover, I guess. 80 years of Marvel, okay. Well, it's sold out, so I'm sure that will be going for more money on eBay. Uh, moving down the list here, t -t 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 uh, I think might be getting near the end here for Marvel. A lot of second printings on 7 and 8 of Miles Morales, Spider-Man, number 9. 
uh, cool cover. I like that cover. So Miles Morales has been pretty decent. And you've got the 80th frame cover again. Uh, Powers of X number two. I believe I got the Putri cover pre-ordered. That was my favorite cover of all the different covers available. Um, excited about Hickman writing a good X-Men book. Uh, hopefully he'll do something great with it and we'll be talking about X-Men for a while. It'd be, it'd be nice if that happens. We haven't really talked about X-Men books in a long time. Uh, Silver, Surfer number, uh, Silver Surfer Black number three comes out next week. Uh, there's three covers. The Bengal cover is okay. I didn't think it was that great. They're not showing the image here on Midtown. Uh, the Ron Lim cover is nice. Dynamic uh, cover between Thor and Silver Surfer. Not too bad. Um, I like the A cover, though. Man, that look all the colors in that. That is so trippy. <laughs> That's, I mean, I like that cover. I think it's the best cover so far that Trad Moore has done. I didn't care for the A, the the first issue cover. I didn't think the second issue was all that fantastic. Uh, this one I like. The colors, I mean, that is a piece of artwork right there. I just, I love that cover. So that's a must pick up for me, in my opinion, uh, that issue, that cover. Silver Surfer Prodigal Sun number one, uh, Miko Suyan cover. Very nice. That's the one I would pick if I had to choose. All right, my computer's a little slow there. Uh, the Garney cover's not bad. It's kind of cool. But I think the A cover's a little bit better. I don't know much about Swordmaster. I know, I think, under the Agents of At Atlas, which I haven't read yet. It's on my... I, I got the first issue of that. I think he's from that series. Um, I think if I was going to pick a cover, that would be the one. But I've not not been collecting that series, but I do like that cover. All right. I think we're near the end here on Marvel. Yep. So let's move on to Independence. I think there was just a couple independent books that I noticed were worthy of my attention. Uh, I do like this heavy metal cover. Don't collect heavy metal, but I do I do like some of their covers. That one's pretty cool. Uh, let's see here. Move down a lot of Jungle Fantasy. Da, 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 da. It's about 25 Jungle Fantasy covers. Uh, Laurel and Hardy. Looks like the black and white sold out already in Midtown. I, I don't know. I can't see myself buying a Laurel and Hardy. I can't see myself watching a Laurel and Hardy show, let alone reading a comic book. <laughs> Uh, just not for me. Uh, Neon Future number six. That's been a good series. The writing's been excellent. Artwork's excellent. Uh, the cover's okay on this. I think the the other some of the other covers have been way better. And there is only one cover here, so they're sort of trimming back on their covers. Uh, Omni number one. Don't know much about that. Um, Humanoids Publishing. Uh, I guess that's a new publisher. I'm not too familiar with them, but. I'm going to probably skip out on that. It's not a bad cover, but if, unless I hear something great about the series, I'll probably skip it. Uh, Once in Future, number one. Um, Kyrian Gillen is pretty good. He's got a history of doing pretty well on, on certain books, and Dan Mora is definitely a good artist. So that is one that I'm going to pick up for sure. And the Thank You incentive cover <laughs> is sold out. Thank you. I'll thank you to pay a two hundred and twelve dollars. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where the thank you comes in. I, I guess for spending that much money, maybe. It reminds me of uh, that Rick and Morty uh, cartoon. I think it was in season two when uh, Morty needs to have a something done for science, like a science project, and he goes to ask his grandpa Rick, who obviously is a genius at inventing everything. And instead, he gets pressured into asking his dad to help him <laughs> instead. And uh, while they're at having breakfast, Rick just, like, invents an artificial intelligence robot to fetch him butter. <laughs> and then the robot, uh, you'll have to watch the scene. It's so awesome. The robot wants to know what his purpose is, and he, Rick tells him to get me butter. <laughs> so the robot's like, oh, my God. 
and uh, Rick just takes the knife and dishes out the butter and says, thank you. <laughs> it's perfect. So every time I hear the, the term thank you, I think of that stupid scene. Eh, that's what happens to a warped mind. All right, moving down the list here. Roman Ritual, Volume 2, Number 1. Nice cover. Sold out. Amigo Comics. So, Spanish for friend. Is it friend comics? I don't know. But they have low print runs, so that might be worth grabbing if you happen to see it at your LCS. Second Coming is getting some second printings. Show's End, Number 1. That is one that... Uh, from Mad Cave. It's kind of a cool premise. This girl ends up uh, developing a family with these freak, sh uh, freak show people, and I guess she ends up being more of a freak than they are. So that sounds like a cool premise. I'm going to pick it up. Mad Cave books tend to have very low print runs, tend to sell out, tend to do fairly well in the aftermarket. So uh, there's only the one cover, so I think it's worth picking up. Still available on Midtown. Wailing Blade number three, Comics Tribe, very, very low print run book. Uh, I'm willing to guess there's less than a thousand of these printed every time they come out with one. Um, also sells out consistently, and again, it's sold out at Midtown again. So uh, luckily, I've been picking those up, and it's been pretty good so far. So uh, that's one to watch for. Speaking of watch for, watcher number one, um, you've got two covers here. A cover's pretty nice. I don't know what this is about. Xenoscope Entertainment. Sometimes their books are okay. You've got a nice black and white cover by Anacleto. Very cool. And there's a blank cover. And that's it. Graphic novels, novels and, and trade paperbacks. All right, guys, so that's your new comic books for the week. I also wanted to um, show on my Instagram page here. This is a cover of a book coming out in September by IDW called Pandemic. And I believe this is going to be a an exclusive cover through Black Cape Comics. Um, Esteban Salinas is the cover artist. He's a really good digital artist. Uh, believe, believe it or not, this is all digitally rendered and digitally created. Um, I like his style. I think he's very, very good at creating very striking images. And I'm pretty sure that will be worth picking up. If you like low print run books that tend to triple or quadruple in price, <laughs> I recommend uh, paying attention to Esteban Salinas. A lot of his books have done very, very well in the aftermarket. Uh, and a lot of that's due to the fact also that the print runs have been very, very low. Uh, I think the last book I picked up was at Dead End Kids, which I had recommended on my channel a few times. And that's sold out. Um, there was only 100 of those printed. So, yeah, I'm a, I'm, I am I'm don't know what the print run of this cover is going to be, but it's probably going to be pretty low. Uh, there's also another cover here. I don't know if... I don't know if either one of them, or if they're going to both be um, the cover for number one. Maybe he did two different covers. Maybe that's cover for number two. I don't know. Um, he just posted the images on his Instagram, and I'm copying and pasting it on my Instagram. Uh, but I like this image too. So, um, yeah, just be aware of that. I'll let you guys know on my channel closer to when uh, they're available for sale on uh, Black Cape Comics is typically who, I think that's who Esteban Salinas contracts his his art through uh, for comic books. So I believe that's where it will premiere. Uh, I'll let you know, I'll let you guys know when that comes about, I'll be watching for it. So if you guys haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of these books. Let me know what you think of the new comic books that are coming out next Wednesday. Uh, maybe there was a book there I should have highlighted that I didn't. Uh, please bring that out in the comment section. And I'll probably have another video out in the next day or two. I've got, I know I have a couple books coming in the mail this week. So look for another video from me. Also, the top 10 lists, I try to get those out 
at the end of the week. So look for that probably either Thursday or Friday. I'll have one of those videos out. All right, guys. Thanks for your time. Appreciate you supporting my channel. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks.